Every day in the USA, people find themselves in court. Hi, can you state your name, sir? Tony Orlando Law. Tony Orlando Law. Calling case number 2405655201, the people of the state of Michigan versus Antonio Orlando Lowe. Defendant is being charged with count one, assault with intent to murder. Count two, assault with intent to do great bodily harm, less than murder or by strangulation. Count three, weapons, firearms, discharge in or at a building. Count four, count five, Count six, weapons, firearms, possession by a prohibited person. Count seven, assault with a dangerous weapon, felonious assault. Count eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Weapons, felony firearm, habitual offender, third offense notice, designating time for body. Appearances, please. Lisa Coyle appearing on behalf of the people. Look right on behalf of Mr. Antonio Lowe, Judge. Argument. Judge, my client is 50, does have some priors, Judge, uh, lives in the city. Uh, judge is actually supposed to start a, a job or was supposed to start a job Friday in Ohio. Judge is a pipe fitter. He does, uh, it's been a skilled tradesman for the last 10 years. Um, he does have six kids that he supports, Judge. This is a you know a, a, a little unusual case, Judge. Also, you know, uh, the neighbor allegedly sees my client outside on the porch, I guess, goes back in, sees him with a, a rifle in his hand. Now, it, it's alleged that Mr. Lowe says, Hey, wait a minute. Somebody's shooting at my house and I'm, I'm, you know, for whatever, I'm returning fire at that particular person, not shooting at a neighbor. Somebody in some white car drove up, started shooting at me. You know what I'm saying? But it, it you know, that, that, you know, was a situation that I'm, I'm reading that I'm getting. Now, obviously the police got the shot spotter. They heard that there was shots fired. They went, they investigated. And, and, and I think the neighbor, you know, might, you know, might've been scared. She came out, he came out, saw, that there was uh, the na their neighbor with a rifle, but again, judge had nothing to do. I'm, I'm confused, Mr. Reagan. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm, I'm confused at this. So you're you're saying that that Mr. Lowe saw the a, a neighbor shooting at him? No, I'm saying the neighbors else? say they saw Mr. Lowe with a rifle, black rifle. Now, Mr. Lowe allegedly said there was a white vehicle that came by shooting at him. There was a white vehicle, an unknown vehicle was shooting at Mr. Lowe. And Mr. Lowe, a court, you know, allegedly was returning fire to the white vehicle. You to know, the white car. The white, to the white car. Yeah, to the person okay, that the was white car. shooting Got at him first. The people that was shooting Got at him first, you know. And, and you know, that he wasn't coming outside for no reason, trying to, you know, shoot at neighbors or shoot at people in general. He was the one they were shooting at, 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 at him. Um, you know what I'm saying? So that that's that's where he, you know, was 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 thinking in his mind, let me defend myself. Um, you know, we all have a different level of defense in our minds, but that, you know, is is a mindset when somebody is shooting at me, you know, I I I want to 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 try to defend myself, Judge. But you know, I think that once the case goes through and 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 more facts come out, more information comes out. That, that that it'll show that, you know, it'll show a whole different light than how the investigators report just simply reads. Um, but we have to let the case play out. I think 200000 cash with tether and a curfew, I think the cash portion is excessive. I think that, you know, the court can say do not possess any firearms um, as a condition. And that could suffice in this particular case why he fights his case, Judge. But I think that he doesn't need to have a two hundred thousand dollar cash bond. I think the court can. That's the future uh, measure with a person. I'm I'm confused. I'm confused, Mr. Reagan. Just so there's a victim or there's a person in this case who was who's saying that Tone shot him. Is that person a neighbor or is that just somebody allegedly driving down the street? Judge, I or think do we that, know? I 
Judge, I think, you know, there's a lot of parts to this, Judge, and I don't want to, I think that okay. may be a, a neighbor, but I, I think that there's a lot of moving parts to this. But again, my client wasn't, it wasn't as it reads. And of course, the only thing the court has to go by is the investigator's report. I do understand that. You know, the court has to go by that. But I get another a perspective of it, Judge, in terms of being able to see both sides of it. And, and it's going to be a right. lot of information that comes out, Judge. It wasn't just Mr. Lowe going out shooting the people. That, that's just not what it was, Judge. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Madam Prosecutor? Well, Your Honor, I think the, the defendant poses a danger to the community as well as to the complainants. Uh, the officers see the defendant with a rifle on the sidewalk. Um, they talked to Ms. Carter, who said that um, he aimed the rifle at her house and started shooting. So we have evidence of that because her security glass on her security door was shot out. Doesn't sound like if somebody's driving by in a car that the defendant was returning fire. He's returning. He's <laughs> shooting into this house. She's um, right the and that the officers observed shell casings on the sidewalk, the grass. Um, and the street. They observed several uh, spent casings in front of this house. They recovered um, an AK rifle from the couch. Um, they, that AK rifle was stolen, as we can see. They also recovered, mm -hmm. I think, around 30 spent casings in that area. Mr. Uh, Raines was shot in the right knee. Um, and that Ms. Carter identified the defendant as a neighbor of four years. So she does know him and that she said that Tone, uh, Antonio uh, Lowe, is the person who pointed the gun as she looked out her front door and that he's the one who shot out her security glass and that the court can note that in he had re fairly recent weapons offenses, which we have a 2018 felon in possession CCW case. Um, so, Your Honor, the, I think that this shows that uh, the the um, cash bond was appropriate in this matter, as well as the tether, based on the fact that we've got him firing into a occupied home, as well as there's a Mr. Raines who has a gunshot wound to his right knee. So um, he also identified the defendant in a photo as being the shooter. Court, I haven't heard the arguments of counsel. Uh, court fines for $200,000 cash bond is not affordable bond. Court finds that, um, in well, in order to have an unaffordable bond, there has to be a showing of flight risk, danger to the community, danger to the complaining witness. In this matter, uh, at, th at this stage, um, seems as though that I'm, I'm still not sure exactly what's going on in this matter. Um, I'm, I'm not, I, there is someone who was shot um, in the knee. I'm not sure if this person is in a car. I'm not sure if this person is in a house. Um, it's a pretty confusing fact pattern. Um, there's alleged stolen gun, gun in plain view, um, neighbors identifying arguments, threats not coming back in neighborhoods. So there, 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 there's a lot that has to get sorted out. With that being said, of course, reducing the bond to 200,000, 10%, with the GPS tether, house arrest, and no contact with the complaining witnesses. Mr. Lowe, I, if you're... If this is a direct neighbor that's next door, I'm not sure if you're, if that's going to be enough space for your tether. If it's not, you're going to have to go someplace else to uh, to stay. If it if it if it is, uh, and um, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, can I say something to you, Judge? Uh, well, yes, but before you before you say anything, I do want to uh, you know remind you you have a Fifth Amendment right against self incrimination. Um, everything you say is actually being broadcast on YouTube. There's also a court reporter taking everything down. There's a prosecutor right there. So anything that you say can and will be used against you. Well, but you do have a right to address the court. You well, also have counsel there. Yep. And Mr. Reagan, who has done a great job of advocating on your behalf, and you may want to rely on his argument. But you have a right to address the court. If, if it's well, about the case, I, will, I wouldn't do it, Mr. Law. Not about okay. the case, I would. Okay. Okay. I'll just talk to you. 
Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Good luck. Okay.